Good afternoon. It is August the 1st. Uh, simpler Futures free video update. Start the week off. Welcome to August. And um, in getting here, we just uh, finished July in a pretty historic manner, up about 9% for the month. About five of that was in the last week. Um, according to things that I've read, you have to go all the way back into about 1939 to uh to find a uh july with uh with that kind of performance july's are uh typically historically bullish but uh but not not to the extent that we saw you know last month particularly the last week uh here that was this was about five percent or so 230 points the week last week was down here in the 39 kind of 13 area and traded all the way up to 41.44 for the high on Friday. And uh, that's a pretty big move. So 230 points, right? 115 to that half back from the top would put the mid at, so I want you to see a couple of things here. That put the, put the mid back at about 40.30 right here. And you got the weekly pivot here at 4060. It's like 63 or something. And the spot that, so you know those two reference points. The spot that I'm going to, and also I would draw a fib from the lows. Let me do that real quick because you want to know the 382 retrace also just for reference real quick. We'll take it a second. So that's going to put it at uh you know 50 basically where the weekly pivot is the 382 is basically where the weekly pivot is okay here's what's got my attention though the way that it traded up wednesday fed day traded up to the high of this wednesday fed day then backed off a little bit thursday before taking back off right there this puts my opinion of what I'm going to try to get away with using as the uh, over-under for the week this week, I'm going right in the middle of everything that I just told you. Remember the halfbacks at 40.30, the weekly pivots here at 60, and the and the 382 is right in that region right there also at basically what was value area high for uh, the week last week at uh, 55, 56, whatever. <clears throat> so I'm, it, notice... Here, too, the, the nature of, you know, the high on Wednesday, the open back and then just bust through right there. That's an LVN. That's the spot that I want to try. I want to use that as the buy the dip. I want to give it a chance to be uh, bullish, but let's say it this way. Like if I'm coming to you imagining that, you know, you're flat from last week and looking for a new trade. Well, then I wouldn't be buying it up here, not given what I just told you about the fact that we were up 9% in July. I mean, that, you know, that's a big move. Uh, I think the expected move last week was only like 100 points and it had a 230 point range. It's pretty crazy. Um, so there, we've got plenty of people in our group that are long, and the deal is they're trying to stay long. Now they're running their stops back here at uh, right about right there at about. 15 40 15 uh so that's the that's one of those if you're long stay long but if you're not i'm trying to get you i wouldn't buy it up here i'm trying to get a place on a pullback to buy and then a target all right so i i think it's gonna be right in here i you know give it a give it a, a little chance to breathe there's a probably a thousand names i believe literally i'm not even kidding uh reporting this week nothing you know, real huge standout-ish, though. I mean, the names that kind of ring a bell were AMD, PayPal, Uber, Caterpillar, BP, Occidental Petroleum, Alibaba, you know, etc. The bulk of those, with the exception of Alibaba, the bulk of those are tomorrow. Um, so maybe maybe we do finally get a little, little kind of the day. The ideal would be tomorrow, get the pullback, start, start the pullback. Lean long right in here. If you know anywhere in there is fine, but I'm I'm thinking right here at like the 40 40 
right there. And then uh, we want to try to target uh, 4,200. Now, I'm going to do it the same way as we did last week, where if you want to buy calls, then target 4,225. But if you want to do the butterflies, then I'm going to put those at like 4,200. That way it doesn't require as much uh, of the butterfly to actually, you know, work, you know, work out profitably. So the, you know, I'm not paying what the fly, you know, 25 wide was like two bucks. I'm not paying that. No way. But back in here, if I, if, you know, if we get, if we get the chance, right, it has to back off. But if it does backs off, comes back in here, price those flies, see if we can get it done for something like last week, somewhere in that, you know, 50 kind of cent area. I got to pay up a little tad bit more. That's fine. But uh, basically, you know, in the 50 cent kind of area, I'm not paying the $2 that it required today. So, um, that's, that's, uh, that's it. I mean, this is, this is such a big move. I, I've got to let this thing breathe. I can't, you know, if you're, if, you know, if you're long, stay long, but if you're not, I'm trying to find you a place to get in on a pullback to keep the risk, uh, in check to where we can allow it an opportunity to continue just a little bit more. And then when we get, a little bit higher up in the 42s up there i'm gonna start shopping some bearish exposure so be prepared for that i'm gonna be flipping around looking for i'm gonna be flipping around looking for some bearish exposure up there so that's what's coming next anyway i'll check with you again midweek hope this helps good trade and uh see you again here soon take care Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.